I'm back. I forgot to hit record. Eh? What? What did you say? I, I forgot. To, I forgot to hit record. Eh? Oh, so nothing has been recorded. Yeah. You. I'm not. Re That's we're not too doing bad. Yeah, I know. I'll just put a little disclaimer that hey, listen, if you're wondering why we're so fucking far into the video. Oh, but the problem is my second screen is now too bright. Yeah. If you get your more, if you get that Morrowind multiplayer mod set up, we can also you can also join me in another Morrowind series. I plan on doing it. Why do you like to play Morrowind? Like I, I don't know about Morrowind, but that shit is like you have to read the whole dialogues by yourself. Oh, I usually just kind of skim through them. No. Oh. <laughs> you 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 just have to skim through them, and or besides, if you just want to tag along and not do any of the quests, you can. Oh, okay. Or like properly do any of the quests. But yeah, you don't really have to read through all of them, you can just kind of skim through them. And we can give you like the cliff notes or explain the port and plot shit to you if you want us to. You can just kind of follow along. Yeah, I saw, I saw like videos, like um, lore videos to the Sky, uh, Skyrim, Morrowind, Oblivion. I love Daggerfall. Which one's that second one? Yes, it's, it's a great one, especially once you get Daggerfall Unity, it's fucking amazing. I think I think you can play that shit for free, right? Yes, you can. It was made free in like 2004. And recently they added it to Steam. We out. Wait, can you do you have uh Skyrim on your PC as well? Yes. And can we not like install multiplayer mods on that? Um we can, but my PC can't record Skyrim. Oh, okay. And the well, videos would come out way too laggy, or the game would come out way too laggy, and besides, I would want to do quests in Skyrim multiplayer. The multiplayer mod's really fucking buggy right now, because they're using the original creation engine. Which, if you've seen Fallout 76, like when it was first launched, the creation engine isn't quite suited to multiplayer, especially when S Skyrim's version of it. They had to redo a lot of the creation engine to even make the multiplayer really not buggy in Fallout 76. Now, fall. Well, then again, people complain about, it, but the bugs were just like goofy shit. You know, I never came across anything game breaking in Fallout seventy six. Yeah, I think that I think that goofy stuff it means content. It means good video. It means I don't know. Yeah, seeing a model just turn into an eldritch abomination, I think is funny. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to get immersed in a <laughs> multiplayer game anyway, so I don't think my immersion was broken. Or I think my immersion was already broken when we were making joke with the jokes we were making and shit. So I think it's just extra. It just makes it better when someone scares the other person because they look like a fucking monster that would that fucking comes out of the worst neighbors of H.P. Lovecraft. Actually, no, that would be um a uh, uh, interracial couple. That would be out of his worst nightmares. I feel like copper is such a disappointment because like people always play like copper mod and they have like copper tools and so on and then copper is just for a dildo which you can receive lightning with mm -hmm. and otherwise it's just building oh boy oh shit there's a bunch of okay to the, to the ocean to the ocean Let's fucking run away, use our fucking, my special tactic of run away like a little bitch. <laughs> I patented it. The special move of Nigerunda, yo. You know that? Jojo? Perfect. No, I don't watch it. My dad does, because he's a giant weeb. And, wait, so your dad is a weeb, but you don't watch anime? I watch anime, I just never watch Jojo. Your cape is, like, in my face. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's great. It's like directly right in front of my fucking face. And we're landlocked. What do you mean? Oh. God damn it. Is there, fucking... maybe, maybe, maybe all hope isn't lost. Is there a river? Because I would like to just By follow. Way, how, should we, how should we call each other? Like, uh, I, sir, like I'll call just call you zombs, um, Zombie and I'll... Sir, sir, don't call me zombie, call me sunglass. Zombie's okay. way too confusing. Okay, it's, okay, sunglass. Um, serpent. Alright. I knew someone was calling me I. <laughs> yeah, some people call, like, weird names. Choose the weird... I mean, the, reason, the reason I like to be called sunglass is because most people actually called me sunglass instead of zombie for whatever fucking reason I have. 
I think it's because games usually don't show the full name. Is it? Can we like sneak and avoid uh, the skeletons? Because I, I, sorry, our better sneak skill isn't high enough. <laughs> Damn, too bad. Maybe, 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 listen. What's your? Maybe, maybe we maybe we could use our loot. Maybe if our illusion spells skills better. We know <laughs> chameleon. Eh? At least. Oh shit. Now, if this is okay. Daggerfall, then we're not fucking using magic for a while because it's so fucking, it feels so fucking finicky and magic at early in the game will pretty much eat up all of your mana from a single spell. Daggerfall? Yeah, it's a lot harder. Damn. This is something Can like like even Morrowind. But the guy I introduced it to somehow found it easier to get into Daggerfall than it was to get into Morrowind. Probably because Morrowind, because he was trying to play Morrowind on console, which isn't fucking recommended. That game's still not quite suited to console. <laughs> I feel like such an old game that also wouldn't try to fix it. Okay, it's, it's still the same biome. What the hell? By the way, the Elder Scrolls series is almost 30 years old, eh? The what series? The Elder Scrolls series. How old? Almost 30. 30? Yeah, the first game was released in 1994. Damn, that old? Yeah. No way, and Skyrim has 10 fucking years of that shit. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Speaking of playing the word tart after something after something else and using it as an so I love going- I used to go to my dad's room and call him a console tart. What? <laughs> As he's sitting there playing on his PS5. Okay, we. How long have we been sailing for? Is, oh, okay. I was just about to say there's nothing here. My distance. Land, <laughs> food. <gasps> Cause I'm cows. Time Hello to here. Slaughter. We're here to bring Christianity. <laughs> have you heard of Jesus? Where's the village. We're here to spread our holy juice. <laughs> We're here to, you, about to tell you the, the great ways of flex tape. <laughs> this is our religion. It's just flex tape. <laughs> it can seal, bond, and repair anything. <laughs> and to prove it to you, we're gonna solve this village and we're gonna burn this village down and, re and rebuild <laughs> it with nothing but flex tape. <laughs> That's the... Uh, <laughs> the best commercial for Minecraft you'll ever find. <laughs> Tell, tells you accurately what people do with villages usually. Eh? <laughs> Wait. I lost you. Yeah. I'm all alone to you. Hold on, I'm gonna definitely find you and not... Uh, <laughs> not TP. Okay, wow, I'm glad I found you. It was so hard. Gave, thank God you gave oh, me those coordinates. Oh, shit, where did you come from? Oh, no. Thank God you gave me those coordinates. I gotta remember to zoom in on, like, the teleported to sunglasses zombie when I'm saying that. <laughs> oh, boy, how easy it is to find him with my coordinates. <laughs> I love doing shit like that. Like, okay, I'm gonna do this legitimately. I'm not gonna. I gotta go and grind and look. I did this one as I play Oblivion. Okay, spawn gold G console command. <laughs> Just whispering out of my breath as you hear me typing. <laughs> and then I like, okay. Go... Sorry, go. Can we find like a place to build a base? I actually, you think back there where we killed all those cows might be a good place? I hear I, feel like I can't see. I don't know why. I feel like I cannot even see, like, very far. I feel like this wood I have wouldn't work for a house. We'll build a sh we don't have to make a good one. I'll build better it. ones. I'm actually pretty decent at building. Yeah, well, I'm the opposite, like I said. So, yeah. <laughs> you do all the work, and I'm gonna you go on a beach here and drink some margaritas. Actually, could you do something? Yes, I can make a Minecraft Venus right here. Well, thank you for your useful for your useful <laughs> skills. What would you do? What would we do without you? But is there <laughs> also, can you get me some? Um, can you get me some cobblestone? Oh, I got a lot actually. Here I need I need a lot more. I need enough to make a roof. 
Ah, okay, then... Uh, okay, then I'm going to go find diamonds. Alright. Nothing to do with the objective, but it's alright. <laughs> Where did you put the bed? Uh, I have it in my hand. Oh. I want to find a color for it. In black. What the hell is this? Oh, that's my... No, put it out. If it, no, put it outside. It would, it, would look, it would look nice. Oh, yeah. It looks like a tree. <laughs> you sound so sarcastic. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> You're just digging down, just sleeping <laughs> in the bed. Well, I can't sleep. Yeah, we need another goddamn bed. Come join me. I made a hole in the ground. Oh, why? I, I have another one just right next to yours. I, I got nothing. Uh, yeah. I got diorite. Wow, thank you for this, this present. It's so fun. This is what the kid. You know what? This is probably what the kids really need for Christmas. We'll advertise Some it everywhere. <laughs> this, is, this will be the real Fortnite killer. <laughs> Every Fortnite kids just need some diorite in their life. That's all they needed. No V-Bucks, just diorite. Diorite without the riot. <laughs> diorite without the riot. Every Fortnite kid dancing in fucking real life and doing those stupid emotes just need some diorites in their life, but without the riot. <laughs> just turns dark so fucking quick. <laughs> yeah, we probably. Wow, this is what them children really need to. They should fucking die. <laughs> There's goddamn Fortnite kids. You know what they need? They just need to fucking die <laughs> and burn in hell. <laughs> God. This video will be offensive towards the fucking kids who need. Okay, I'm Fuck gonna them! Here. Damn soft liberals when I rip out their organs. <laughs> fucking we, snowflakes. We need to purge. We need to purge so we can purge all this fucking Fortnite snowflakes. Like they burst the all these these Fortnite liberal Gen X Gen Alpha snowflakes burst the tears when I threaten to kill them and their entire family. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're children or something. <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck cries when people point guns at their fucking head? <laughs> only yeah, soft, man. only soft snowflake liberals. <laughs> I gotta stop making the joke. I've made it about. I'm probably gonna edit that out. I just like to tell everybody. Yep, the bit has gone too far. I got a boat. Dear God, this is the most exciting thing I've done all day. <laughs> This is so fun! We're driving a boat in a <laughs> tiny little fucking cabin. Who need kids? We don't need Disneyland anymore! We've got boat <laughs> in a ground in, in a hole in the ground land. Introducing the whole boat. <laughs> we got Serpent Land. It's like Disneyland, <laughs> but way more depressing. <laughs> this is like two things you can do there. <laughs> Ride a boat or die. There's a zoo, but it's just a but it's just a dog that's been painted like a tiger. <laughs> it's like that uh, spider dog. Just put that custom on. Say <laughs> giant spider. The other pet is just is just um fuck. What would be really depressing to put into a zoo? What? <laughs> It's just a house cat in a pen. Night cage. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a shitty paper ma line made around it saying lion. <laughs> the line is spelt wrong. The goddamn orange cat just thrown in there. <laughs> like, look, guys, we found a rare pygmy tiger. Eh? <laughs> it's our new invention the mini tiger. <laughs> just a fucking cat. <laughs> I got here the giraffe. The, the, just, we have, we have, just, a, we have like, a, we have, like a, we have a virtual reality, reality experience, but when you go inside, it just says close your eyes and imagine stuff. 
<laughs> you know that um, Rick and Morty VR game? Yeah. It's basically that uh, Troy game. Do you know that? Yeah, Where yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about. No, that, no, that'd be that'd be that'd be no. But it's re it's that. But it's re but it's done in real life. They just put a box <laughs> over your head with binoculars on it. <laughs> they put a box over your head, and you look through it, and then they have it, like, in front of you. You can't even see it properly, because I'm your face. Is Welcome obscured. to the virtue of reality. It's just a box. <laughs> it's a box. It's like, you know, like, you know those, one of those, um, like, you know those, one of those things where it's supposed to be, like, a 3D effect, with like, those binoculars with pictures in them, you know what I'm talking about, right? I think so, yeah. It's just a cardboard box you put in your head, there's a light in it, and there's just a still Im image on it. There's still, all, like, stock- <laughs> it's just a stock photo, there's still stock photo watermarks on it. <laughs> Imagine them just, um, it's like a theater, but they don't have any props, they just have an iPad, and just put PNG p pictures on it. <laughs> okay, this- Live pad, is... and it's just a- it's just a, a speaker with a video- with a music video on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the most disappointing park ever. <laughs> it sounds like, oh man, it sounds so exciting. You get there. <laughs> the side yeah, makes it look all epic and shit. <laughs> look like, look like, like, oh wait, I can't, can't wait for my field trip and just be dead. It's just that fucking shitty ass park. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just, it's just some guy's backyard. <laughs> Kids were going on a fucking field trip. In my you, fucking you see the owner of the house and his wife get a domestic dispute. I got another fun activity. What? I have a bucket. <laughs> this could be the water feature, eh? like the water park part. It could be a water park too. Who needs? Who needs like? Who needs like wild fucking wild waves? Or like uh, or or your popular European water park here, eh? <laughs> It's just, it's just uh, the water park is just like that door box yeah, it's like, pool. Yeah, it's like a kiddie pool. <laughs> Those like small pools for like fucking three year olds. They're made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that, but with like a, like a like one of those like you know with like a slide leading into it, like the ones you would assemble your like a playground slide leading into it, <laughs> and a hose going down it. Oh god. That's the water That's slide. Fucking eh? stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's a genius idea. It's a bu water park on a budget. It's budget land. <laughs> Imagine make like being the advisor for like people want to start something new and just give them that. Yeah. Oh, you want to build a like a theme park? Here you go. We got some nice ideas over here from and the budget it's, park. Yeah, it's it's cheap. <laughs> what would the mascots be? <laughs> I don't even want to know. It's just, a guy. Like it's just, it's just a fucking homeless guy with some <laughs> toilet paper. No, it's, it's just, it's just, it's the owner of, it's the owner of that, it's the also the owner of the house. It's like the male owner, one of the male owners of the house. He's got a fucking like shitty dollar store mask on. <laughs> it's a shitty Halloween mask on. It's like some knockoff. <laughs> Yeah, very cheap two uh, two dollar kind of costume. Yeah, they picked it up from costume. Walmart. On they picked it up from Walmart. Oh, they picked it up from Walmart. It's like a <laughs> shitty like Five Nights at Freddy's mask. They just steal it from Walmart. They're not even buying it. <laughs> <laughs> they stole it from the dollar store. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Someone robbed a dollar store. <laughs> that might put Never them out of business. No. <laughs> On the news, some fucking random ass guy stole some fucking costume from a dollar store to make a theme park in his garden. <laughs> it's it's the newest hottest spot. It's the hot spot of the town. People saying <laughs> breaking news. <laughs> Budget land, hot, hottest water park <laughs> in America. <laughs> Budget land. God, I love that fucking name. Quite insane. It's the best place to do crack because the police don't want to go anywhere near it. Because it's just too <laughs> depressing. You can do literally any drug you want here. 
<laughs> the owner doesn't care. He's too busy beating his wife. <laughs> too busy. <laughs> He's too busy beating his wife. God damn. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Connor brings me the episode of South Park. <laughs> you know that episode of South Park where they like where they try to intermingle well a wealthy high class area with lower income people, like, and then for the advertisement, it's just poor. It's just Kenny, Kenny's dad beating his wife. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I don't know about that episode whatsoever because I only watch South Park. But oh god, it's great. I I can I can I can just imagine it. You know what I mean? Like I don't even need get a get a taste it. of like a nice rustic. Lower income people, a nice day, a nice mix of people and income status, and then it just shows Kenny's dad beating his mom, <laughs> beating the fucking shit out of her. He is Kenny's parents <laughs> in a domestic dispute. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking. Oh no, woman! Shut up, woman! <laughs> <laughs> you got the parking your gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> It was also built on a Indian. God damn it. it was built on both a mirror factory and an Indian and an Indian graveyard. What the fuck? And so it's also also haunted. <laughs> okay, the only thing that's changed is that you have now a wall. <laughs> yeah, you got a problem with walls. The walls are so overrated. Who the hell needs walls when you can just sleep on the street? Like, like, like the, like the employees of, of Budget Land. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is, is ever, ex land. this is ever expanding. Soon it's gonna become big, slightly above, above average Budget Land. <laughs> so <I'm> just... <laughs> Do you think it's called Budget, it's probably called Budget Land, but actually no, it's called Budget Land only because it's on, it was made on a budget. It's still insanely expensive to get in, eh? Just imagine like a old abandoned theme park. There's people standing there. Welcome to Budget Land. No, calling it a theme park would be too generous. Some guy's back. Like I said, <laughs> it's some guy's backyard. I think that's even funnier. <laughs> Not really his the guy has no like, kids oh. either. He didn't do this just because he wanted to make his kids happy. He has no kids. <laughs> They're all all his kids are like in their twenties. Have long since stopped talking to him. <laughs> No, he just uses it. He built this after it's long after his kids moved out. He just uses. He has no grandkids either. His well, he does, but his grandkids aren't allowed to see him because he won't quit plugging his weird theories about about race. <laughs> <laughs> and about 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 the um about the pandemic. <laughs> I got I got a text on my phone once about some guy bringing mentioning the pandemic. I don't even know what that is. Just oh, it's so a stupid. it's a conspiracy theory that the pandemic was 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 created by China. China. Yeah, that it was an artificial virus, despite the fact that China is seemed to be as hit as hard as the rest of the world. And if it was really their fault, they wouldn't have been hit as hard. I actually don't think so because um, I believe Chinese government doesn't give a fucking shit about their people. <sighs> like they run them over with their tanks and shit. Yeah, but they also probably care about having like, maintaining their high population because it means a higher economic value. You know what I mean? I don't think I don't think a country who has like a one baby rule cares about the population. Yeah, but I think that's just their their weird authoritarian way of managing the high population. They do would want to maintain it because you know it's what gives them their economic edge. Oh, I see. Not not give them good living conditions. Just make sure they don't die from a pandemic. <laughs> Never said anything about them having nice living conditions or them giving that much. But they just care that they're they only start caring when they stop making the money. The government money. Just basically money. budget land, but it's China. <laughs> Budget Land China edition. <laughs> All the employees are like two years old. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> uh, but uh, disclaimer for the video: I'm Asian. We are allowed to do this. We are allowed to say stuff. <laughs> oh, thank God! Because I was gonna I make these jokes. I I used to make these jokes anyway. 
Yeah, well, now you're getting cancelled because the... <laughs> the Don't worry, I already, I already, get, I already got cancelled. I hate... I said, I said racist things about Dark Elves. <laughs> I'm getting cancelled in Morrowind. This goddamn Dark Elf. This fucking Dunmer. Damn it. Damn fucking Grayskins. Coming here, taking out jobs. Skyrim damn belongs to the Norms, Dorans. <laughs> we need to build a wall. <laughs> we need to build a wall between... We need to build a wall and make Morrowind pay for it. <laughs> and then the Dark Elves are like, We need to build a wall and make Blash Marsh pay for it. <laughs> and Morrowind, everyone's really racist towards Argonians. You know them. I feel like, like in Elder Scrolls, everybody just hates each other. Yeah, like, like, race. like our Dark Elves, like fucking lizards. They shoot back to the swamps where they came from, me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like in Skyrim, the Nords just hates everybody. Yeah, why do it's you think like they going say? Into a German settlement <laughs> during like World War II. <laughs> <laughs> There's goddamn people. God damn it, they need to get out of here. What are other dumb ideas for like attractions other than theme parks? The budget arcade. <laughs> the budget arcade. It's it's like it's 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 just some guy it's just the owner's phone, you get to play like the same two free <laughs> knockoff mobile games. Mind story. Bird. No, no, you don't even get yeah. Angry Birds. <laughs> Let's get uh, Flappy Bird and Duo Jump, that's all. No, they can't. Just this no, I think a knockoff shit like Five Nights at Bendy's, Mind Story. <laughs> <laughs> Five Nights at Bendy's. That's a real thing. Oh, really? Yeah, there's all kinds of shitty mobile games. I watched a guy named Captain Sauce when I was like 15 play a bunch of shitty ones called it Mobile Masochist. <laughs> There's a mobile game I really like. It's called The Flying Gorilla. Oh yes, that uh, that masterpiece of gaming. Everyone should I quit. I get ads from that shit. I still get fucking ads from that. Everyone, which is everyone, I get ads from Gaia, which is like this weird pseudoscience alternate health um, shit. Them gunning about chakra and and because the Sumerian kings were meant to be 400 years old in stories, therefore that's how old they really lived, and we gotta try to become immortal like them. What the fuck? And using religious texts as scientific documents. Saying that global warming's fake. <laughs> you know, this the one thing is global warming and the coronavirus being planned and shit. But then there's people who... The flat earthers. God damn. Yeah, they, 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 they say you can't go to the Arctic, by the way. It's forbidden. Uh, that's why there's what? cruises there, eh? <laughs> what? Wait, you can't go to the Arctic? Yeah, you can. <laughs> if you have enough money, if you're- probably if you're pretty- it's probably pretty expensive, though. Those cruises are probably pretty expensive. Didn't fucking Dream just went to, like, the Arctic? <laughs> no, he, he's in on it. He's part of the government conspiracy. <laughs> just faking it. Just like every moon landing. <laughs> Every moon landing. Did you know what? The, the next moon landing, I hear they're getting Steven Spielberg on, like the Marvel special CGI team for it. <laughs> oh no. God damn. I like how well, they keep saying CGI, CGI was eventually like in the 50s or 60s. Even though it's CGI, it looked like it was just moving lines on a screen. Like wireframe meshes. It wasn't even It couldn't even be convincing. Yeah, I don't know why the people are so stupid today. And what about the pictures of the curvature of Earth before CGI was invented? Because we had those. We've been up that high before. Before we had space yeah. travel, it's not that hard to go up that high without space travel. It's called balloons. <laughs> now, I know it's such arcane technology. It was the only technology I fucking discovered in the fucking Middle Ages. <laughs> God damn. I know, it's so it's such high-tech, advanced technology, though. Oh, just thinking about this kind of people makes my head hurt. Yeah, it does me, too, because I'm a huge fucking science nerd. <laughs> In the past, we had...
people who achieve great things. Now we have to cancel culture and the flat earthers. <laughs> you, both How ends of the spectrum are awful. <laughs> it can be awful. You can't get anything from the left. You can't. It's hard. There's a lot of bad shit on the left, but then you got the fucking right wing si saying that the Jewish government wants you to think that the Earth is round so they can shoot Bill Clinton, Joe Biden, raise up your pee hole, and make your dick smaller. <laughs> oh yeah, I should have thrown five G in there as well. Like, they all seem to be really scared of five G. Eh? Five G? Yeah, they think it, they they think it caused the coronavirus. Some people thought it caused the coronavirus. <laughs> Despite the bad fact that it was affecting countries that didn't have 5G. What the fuck? Because they thought it was like coronavirus was actually radi radiation poisoning. Despite the fact, once again, Israel had was affected by fucking um the the coronavirus. Despite there was no fucking radiation poison there, and they assumed well they must have spread it. Like that's how that fucking works. Just because you radiation doesn't poisoning cannot spread it. Radiation can spread. But not the not the actual poisoning from it. Oh yeah, and no, I don't think so. I think, but I think the body can radiate the radiation. I uh, know. I think it's too. I don't think. I don't think it can. No, it can't. Cause oh. um, radiation radiation um is different. If it's only, it could probably only do that if you were hit by a nuclear bomb and you had to, like fall out inside of you. But radiation <laughs> itself is just a type of wave. It can't like stay in your body. Or and in anything, it's just gonna pass through it and cause damage. Yeah, some serious chromosome damage. Some serious oh. damage. Don't worry. Serious I... chromosome damage, but luckily I got one more than usual. Don't I'm the special one. Don't worry. We got flex. We got flex DNA repair. Right? Flex <laughs> DNA. <laughs> The amount of time you took just to get that one bit out. <laughs> it will. Radiation cause some serious damage. And to show you how good Lucky. Flex D DNA is, I gave this child lethal amounts of radiation <laughs> poisoning. Of gamma radiation. <laughs> I brought this child to Chernobyl and had him go inside the fucking factory. Inside the power plant. And, <laughs> and I'm gonna heal him with only Flex radiation. Fuck, it didn't work. He, st he just died. Damn, that's too bad. It doesn't treat cancer. He's, now he's got like Grab eight the different... shovel. He's got eight different cancers and... He's got 80 different cancers and 70 of those are new ones that we've never known about. <laughs> yeah, damn. Flex, they beat me damned. Now introducing... Beat me, Flex, flex Daddy. Radiation. We're getting attacked. You're getting, getting attacked. attacked. What do you mean? What? Come in the hole! You fucking coward! Windows doesn't actually exist. It's just a government plant. <laughs> plant. Yeah, that's just really tough air, right? Yeah. Everybody know that. The government just trying to lie to us. Yeah, so they can make There's more no money. There's such thing as it's, Windows. They want you to think Windows are real so they can pretend this, so they can start selling you hard air, right? <laughs> I saw someone's argument for why, why. Here's an argument for why the government doesn't want you to know that the Earth is flat, and so they can make more money off of globes. <laughs> That's one of their arguments. <laughs> the booming Fuck, globe yeah. inster, in, industry. <laughs> God's sake. This is still like the 20th century, right? Google Maps doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> This sounds so fucking stupid, but like, I don't know about like America, but here in Europe, like in Germany, I have never seen anybody having, having ever owned like a globe. I've only seen them in schools. Yeah, that, it, not even that. My school didn't have that. Oh, well, my school's, well, I went to, a, I went to a very low end public school. We also live in America where for a bit funding got cut because, well, the school wasn't doing bad because the students were getting bad grades. And getting low scores, so they decided the logical conclusion was to fix like the low scoring, the low average of students, like grades and shit. We'll cut the funding if a bunch, if they're all getting bad, if most of them are get, doing bad. Yeah, well, for us, I think religion is learning the most boring ass shit you can fucking find in the fucking world. Well, that's because they make it boring. Even Christianity yeah, chicken, and like Judaism would be interesting if you frame it the right way and you actually describe it the right way. 
and you don't make it boring. Yeah, I guess so. You can really work with a lot of shit. Even shit like Exodus, you can work with it, make some pretty fucking awesome shit with it. That's yeah, what I do. I feel like our uh, school system is all like fucking History... Stone Age old. History oh, is usually shit, made boring. Shit. History can be fucking interesting and amazing if, you, if, they, if, if it's done the right way. Well, the only history I'm ever gonna learn is uh, Adolf Hitler and his nice time. <laughs> that's that's literally almost everything we're learning in school. Here's and, what we did, and here's how uh, we yeah. fucked up. <laughs> here's how our country really fucked up. Here's how we did it again. It's <laughs> so like you get the same yes, punishment the first, as and that's the second. You get the same punishment. You're like here's the imperialism. We really fucked up here with Africa. And then here's when we committed <laughs> racial genocide. <laughs> Hitler thought it, was a, thought it was a good idea to kill six fucking million Jews. <laughs> At least the United Kingdom only has half of that. They just gonna talk about, like, here's when we thought we were racially superior to everyone, so we just started fucking over Africa and, like, India and shit. <laughs> here's when we colonized this place and then told and acted like we were better than them because we had white, because we were white. <laughs> a lot of European countries have like, uh, yeah, um, yeah, here's when we, well, I think a lot of European countries are like, okay, here's when we fucked up badly and just killed a bunch of people because we thought, a colonized killed a bunch of people because we thought we were better because we were white. It was pretty much just England's whole history. Yeah. Every England's entire Great history Britain. into the 1700s, into the 16, past the 1600s. <laughs> God damn. I feel like that's the case for a lot of European countries, especially ones that really did a fuckload of colonization. Spain, Germany. I don't even think Germany's as, like, okay, aside from the Second World War, like, in the past it wasn't as bad. I just so you see, I, I learned is that Germany didn't even exist before. Oh yeah, it was uh, Prussia. It was like tiny little provenance and shit like that. Yeah, it was like part of the Prussian Empire, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very bad in history. You're bad I with your school, and I. And I had... see, in history, we all you see, Amer war exists. Someone said war exists so America can learn geography. <laughs> <laughs> what because the... pretty much all of our history is just here is the war. Here's a war we went in. Here's the war we went into immediately afterwards. Here's another war. Uh, here's some stuff, another stuff that may not seem like a war, but it was with the natives. Because we decided we want their land for oil. <laughs> you see, this stuff here, this oil stuff, is the reason for everything we do. Here's the, every, once we found out of oil, we did it, everything, everything we did was related to this. Here's the next war, here's another war, here's the last war that actually, there was a war that was actually justified, and then here's every other war that was completely unjustified. <laughs> Because we decided they had resources or we didn't want communism reaching them. Despite the fact that the country we were invading wasn't really a communist country. The Soviet Union just liked them. <laughs> like, here's when we created a tal- Yeah, the United States is directly responsible for the Taliban. Because basically in the 1980s, the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan. And so the United States decided, fuck, we don't want communism getting anywhere near there. We don't want them to spread because we were still in the mindset of containment. Containing communism rather than outright stopping it because that would cause World War Three and cause nuclear the nuclear annihilation of the United States and a lot of and pretty much every northern country. But yeah, um, so instead we went out to this group. It's just some some group of of some really religious people. So that, okay, here's some guns and here's the CIA to train you. And I'm sure we're always gonna be good friends. And you're never gonna fly any planes into into our World Trade Center. <laughs> <clears throat> I heard <clears throat> I heard that some people talk about the 9-11 that like was staged and shit. Yeah, that is a conspiracy theory. You know, I don't mean to be offensive, but I feel like American people make some really stupid Oh no, I absolutely theories. agree. We are fucking stupid. It's surprising it's it's surprising that we're a world superpower. We're like one of the strongest fucking countries in the world. Eh? Yeah, you know, he and you it's a miracle. It's a miracle we're the just most wondering what the hell's happening. I, like. I wonder if there's a secret super government that's just not coming out because they want to be nice. Like, okay, they're clearly really stupid. Let's just be nice and not and let them think they're the, they're the most powerful country in the world. Eh? 
<laughs> like 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 when your dad like when you're playing a sport with your dad and he goes easy on you, he like purposely walks slower in. <laughs> and that's your win. But it's the tight rest of the world and pretending that oh sure, we're definitely yeah, sure, you're the strongest country around. Sure, sure, Timmy, you're the special one. You're the good one. Sure, sure, whatever. That'd be nice and not hurt, hurt our feelings. <laughs> make us think. It's like that meme with the guy with a big giant armor, and the next thing is just a little guy with a wooden sword. <laughs> oh boy, I'm now in 30 goddamn minutes. I was, I was in, I was raiding, me and a guy were like tailing from a village in a raid, popped up, but we didn't see any villagers and thought, are we the raid? Because <laughs> we were also killing all the villagers as well, like, <clears throat> like burning the village down. Eh? Like, are we the raiders? Is that, are they talking about us? Oh. Shit! God damn it! That scared me. Hold up. What? It's a goddamn traveling villager, and I thought it was a pillager. Uh, don't buy from him. It's trader. all. It's all. Unless, unless we absolutely have to, and like we can't find anything. I like Five to... emerald for goddamn sampling. Go fuck yourself, fucking we'll, llama bitch boy. We'll go find a fucking um. It, what kind of sapling is it? Because we'll go find it. It's the one that's the it's the one which is right in front of our goddamn house. Oh my god. The spruce wood. We don't need spruce wood. We're sick of spruce wood. And the goddamn core start in the spruce. It gives us PTSD. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like a big giant mountain back here. Oh. I don't see any goddamn villagers. <sighs> I think we need to get the farming. Wait, you have a bucket, right? Can you come back with it? Yes, I will. Why is the tree burning? Oh, there's lava here. Oh, that'll be useful when we get to making another portal. It's just one single lava, oh. We could cast out another portal. What do you mean, cast out? You, you, know, mean... you don't know how to like, make another portal cast. Basically, what you do is you create like a castle, like a, a hollow freight, hollow bit of block, hollow thing that... Make this hollow set of frame that would the hollow portions would fit up to the size of another portal and basically what you do is you put a, wa a water block in there and then you pour lava in there and it creates obsidian at the source block the hell sounds like sorcery to me but yeah you don't need a diamond pickaxe to make another portal i know it's <coughs> space age technology and actually it's just simple chemistry Nah, it, it sounds yeah. like it sounds like satanic devil work to me. By the way, this guy named Quantum <laughs> TV, he he was complaining about black people, you know something? He's black. <laughs> like there's too many black people around here. I know, I'm one <laughs> of them. <laughs> he also said I'm not anti I'm not homophobic, I'm anti-gay. <laughs> I'm not racist, I just fucking hate everyone who isn't white. <laughs> God damn. <clears throat> this fucking stupidity at its finest. <laughs> this reminds me of a story of a person who was like wearing KKK stuff and then he was black. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Where should I put the lava? It reminds me of this bit from South Park. Um. Oh, I don't know. Pour it out later. Pour it out somewhere in the water, preferably. Unless you want to make a random well, death pit to walk it, and we can walk it occasionally. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna make it right here. There. Now, now that'll that that will really spice up our spice up our day. <laughs> Add a bit of. I oft I too often make random death death traps around my house. The other day, like, I have a landmine right in front of my door. <laughs> it gets your, it gets your adrenaline going. It really gets the blood the flowing. I'm like, oh, pass. shit, I'll, oh, I almost stepped on my own landmine. Oh, well, I almost died today. Okay, time to get a drink. <laughs> I often sometimes, I often sometimes rig guns up to my door, tr gun traps. You know what I'm talking about, like, where you pull the door and it pulls a string pulling the trigger. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I just like to occasionally put some Vietnam booby trap in front of my fucking door, just to get really get that fucking kick. Like all, oh, <laughs> it really like creates a much needed kind of anxiety I need every day. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have no money for cocaine. Time to put some booby traps in the front of my door. I have no money and cocaine, and I don't have the confidence to commit a crime. Just booby trap your door. I mean, that's also illegal. You can't like leave booby traps in your house that can be automatic. They're automated, so that basically, so that if you accidentally trespass, like on a, like on a farmland or something, you don't act, you don't step on a landmine because you didn't know you're because you didn't know you're trespassing it. Oh man. You don't step on a landmine and be and and, and be going to the music go and become the main character and Johnny got his gun. I've never seen that, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. It's a movie about a guy getting hit by a mortar shell. I'm referencing the music the the song one, which um is about the pretty much the same thing, a guy getting hit by stepping on a landmine. And at least the plot of Johnny Got His Gun is he gets hit by a mortar shell, gets blinded, has his voice taken away, his ability to move his arm all his limbs taken away and his hearing taken away. But yeah, make sure to kill all the children too. We don't want any RPG protagonists rising up, okay? <laughs> to kill us. They try to kill us. Because we're, abs no we're absolutely the villains in an RPG. Like in a JRPG. I'm leaving no one to tell the tales. Yeah, we don't want any heroes rising up. Just imagine baby villager crying, and suddenly he just becomes a fucking player. <laughs> that this is what you know. It this is what Minecraft dungeon should have been. It should have been super violent, as like <laughs> everyone's getting slaughtered in a very gory fashion. It's all dark and edgy. <laughs> it's just feature like. This is the village. It's like those edgy Minecraft. Day, it's like those. Showed up. It's like that. You know that one video of like of like the Fortnite character killing all those villagers. It's it should be like that. <laughs> one day this accident, disaster struck, and everybody died in the end. The end. The player you plays the. That should be a, like a joke. Yeah, like you may it's may style like an RPG. Everything's all nice and lovely. Either that, either it's all nice and lovely, the the town gets obviously fucked over, it's a dark, some fucking evil ar demonic army invades, and it kills you. You don't get to live. Or nothing happens. You go to bed and everything's okay. <laughs> just imagine starting that, in like a game. Like, oh, this town's absolutely die. gonna get spectate. invaded. Yeah, you just spectate the invasion because you die first. <laughs> yeah, like kill all the women and children. Like you buy like for forty dollar game, but it's just you no, no, forty dollars is cheap. You know, do you know how much games cost now? That's cheap, more like eighty dollars. What? There are game triple A games out there that cost eighty dollars now. What kind of games would that fucking be? Games what, that are EA, games that are EA void games? of uh, games that are void of game of of any gameplay innovation, but look really pretty. So the worst thing to fucking ever happen to the gaming industry. Because I think what going for a pretty graphics... It was like 60. Like, in uh, here's 60 euro all the time. Well, sorry, like I don't understand your commie currency, communist currency. <laughs> <laughs> I use my freedom <laughs> currency. <laughs> your currency is free. Mine is shared. Mine's free to we get. Mine's free to get shot by a cop. <laughs> because the cop thought shot by a cop after peacefully protesting. <laughs> Mine's free to get shot <clears throat> in a school and then have everyone argue. We should put have to make the same argument. It was video games. I know we should put guns in the give the teachers guns because you know teachers are always notoriously happy with their job and it's never and you know it's never been a joke in literally every fucking medium. That the teacher's fucking depressed. <laughs> Every teacher's just like Walter White. He's goddamn depressed and then just decides to start kill people all of a sudden. Actually, Wendigo, one of Wendigo's like college chemistry professors was like, I could be making meth right now. Jeez, you guys did so bad on the test. I'd be making meth right now. <laughs> he wanted to be Walter White so bad. 
I'm pretty sure every chemistry teacher can just really just start to make math. Yeah, they absolutely could. <laughs> Here, I got an idea, another great idea for a theme park. Freedom Land. <laughs> It's not like, like some super patriotic thing. No, it depicts America accurately. So of course, one of the mascots is a cop that will um, that will like have, has like a like a, a beat, an airsoft gun and will shoot any black person that walks in. Of course, <laughs> you're not allowed to go in if you're not white. No, you're you're allowed. You'll just get hit by the mascots. <laughs> um, and of course, like oh, <laughs> hey you, like oh, you want to get a picture with me? <laughs> yeah, sure. <clears throat> there is the, the there is the there is the eighteen year old there is the military experience. You go in there and you're changed forever. Eh? <laughs> and of course it's expensive because we're gonna fuck you over anyway after saying they they tell you oh it's gonna be some great the like, part of the experience is them tell you before you go in, oh it's gonna be so awesome, you're gonna get so much cool stuff out of it. You're gonna get so much great benefits and then you get fucked over. <laughs> Welcome to freedom, then. That generally okay. happens oh. in America. They'll the go. Worst place they, can they, ever they, be. they basically what they do is they military recruitment way it works. Way they usually do it is um one way they do it is they go to the high schools, usually pretty poor ones like mine, and then they tell like tell you, hey you'll get like all kinds of benefits for college, high school, college and shit, and all kinds of financial shit if you join the army or navy or whatever whatever branch of the military is recruiting recruiting that day. So for wealthy schools. Because they know they aren't going to want to join because they're already, they're already going to be have a pretty good future already. No, it's going to be the really poor schools who whose future is pretty uncertain. Whose students' future yeah. might be pretty shitty unless they get some kind of benefit. Some kind of boost or help. And then usually they never fall through. Um, Let's see what else is there. Oh yeah, the, the American school experience. It's like a laser tag course. Yeah, try to survive for five minutes challenge. Yeah. <laughs> the God, bipartisan. Fuck it up. There's a there's a bi there's the bipartisan roller coaster. <laughs> the the bi the the dual party roller coaster. <laughs> what the fuck? Where you have to choose a ride. They don't tell you any of their politics. Any of the politics, what each side, which which roller coasters benefits, they just say why the other roller coaster is bad, and not and not even like like political reasons, like oh he, oh he he's a loser, he he's he's a nerd. He's a fucking nerd. I hear he I hear he's a furry. <laughs> and then watch well, it, that might get a lot more people on. Sit over there. That seems like a fucking furry to me. Yeah, so we got some billion dollar ideas. Mm -hmm. We got freedom then. No trillion dollar ideas. Quadrillion <laughs> dollar ideas. <laughs> we got budget land. <laughs> Whoa, what would this company call that owns all these perks? I'm assuming it's the same company. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. Quadrillion idea. Quadrillion dollar idea industries. The, the flex idea. Flex idea. Flex tapes just really branched out. <laughs> flex tape oh, land. Found... Flex Sounds land. Sounds like a nether portal thingy here. Flex land. <laughs> Welcome to flex land. All the concessions are just flex paste. Like all the food, it's just treat food you get there is just made of flex paste and flex glue. <laughs> It takes you three minutes to walk a step because the ground's made out of glue. <laughs> I mean, it's it's made of flex paste, flex paste, and it's all like rubber flex paste. The roller coasters are made of flex tape, held together by flex <laughs> tape. In introducing flex steel. <laughs> what other word? Flex what? steel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flex plastic explosives. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to destroy things and cause major damage. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the flex nade. And to prove its and the prove the prove the flex nade's power, I built this house out of flex tape. 
improve the power of the flex nade. I went to a school and bombed it. <laughs> I was the unibomber, eh? Village. <laughs> On the village, by the way. It was quite far away. Okay, just take a screenshot of its coordinates. Um, I already see the future main I mean, character well, we... here. a baby villager. He's gonna grow up, go to like the... He's gonna be the main character of Fable, I'm assuming. <laughs> One day, he's just gonna show up and kill us. Not if we kill him first. <laughs> okay, let me start. <laughs> it's like killing uh, baby Hitler. Prevent <laughs> six million deaths. Just by killing one baby villager. No, in this case, it causes six million deaths. <laughs> I'm a Bruin stand, by the way. Have you heard of Kung Thank Fury? You. Kung Fury. Kung Fury. Kung Fury. What the hell? It's like a, a parody, like eight uh, 80s action movies. It's about a kung fu cop who goes back in time to kill Hitler, who is a kung fu master. <laughs> Hitler like reaches, shoots a guy through the phone, and, and it's got all kinds of lines like. Yeah, that's my bicep. What are you doing? My job. He talks like this. That's the main character exactly talks like this, which is the voice I was already using for my badass action character, like saying shit like, I'm about to dish out. I'm. The only thing I'm serving up today is a cannibal bass and a knuckle sandwich. But I won't get one for you. I'm a, rene whoop -ass. I'm a renegade who doesn't play by the books, but god damn it, I get results. <laughs> god, that's. But yeah, those lines are exactly shit. used. But there's like a but there's like a hacker in the movie, and he hacks the main character back in time. And when the main character dies, he's hacked back to life. <laughs> I, which I've called already. <laughs> oh God, please tell me the hacker's gonna bring it back to life with hacking. <laughs> That'd be amazing. It's so good. You gotta watch it. It's, it's on YouTube. It's free on YouTube, and it's only thirty minutes long. <laughs> God damn, what kind of movie is that? It's a parody movie. It's a low budget parody movie. What's the name for it? Kung Theory. And it's the most 80s shit where it's got like a VHS filter. There's a bit where like, like, like here's my number. And then it introduces like this thing for like the fucking outdated piece of technology to call people like on the go with. And like goes into a full advertisement for it. <laughs> Like those kids show when they introduce shit and make advertisement. <laughs> it's just an old parody. <laughs>